Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, I'm out here on Paseo Montejo. All right. I was actually having a a client meeting out here in Starbucks, and um, I brought my camera with me so that I can film a little bit about what's going on out here. So as you guys can see, you know, traffic is already starting to get back to normal. We're already starting to see a lot more people out on the streets and um it's starting to get again you know finally you know slowly but surely we're getting back to where we used to you know where we were not too long ago all right so you know what let me get rid of this real quick i got a bottle of water here i want to get rid of uh <laughs> but anyways all right so here let me wait one second all right and make a little time but you know basically you know what today what we're going to be talking about is a very important subject that a lot of people have actually been bringing up to me and i just haven't made an episode on it yet but it's very important especially now with the climate and everything that's going on and all the things that are happening you know basically what's happening is that um a lot of people are asking me if i come out here to mexico if i come and live out here and i come you know uh move out here and become an expat will I get extradited you know would you get extradited and um, you know that's a major concern and a big big uh, you know uh, talking point you know for a lot of fucking people out there you know there's a lot of people out there that are leaving your country for whatever the situation is and you guys are afraid of getting extradited and again it's not because you committed a huge horrible monstrous crime but just because I don't know you didn't pay your taxes or I don't know um, Insure, you know, you like um, a car accident. I don't know. Um, you're leaving because of child support. Um, you know, some minor drug offense. You know, and that could go on and on. Okay, there's a lot of reasons as to why a lot of people um, are, are scared. You know what I mean? To, to come out to a place like Mexico or whatever, and then all of a sudden, you know, they're very, very scared that they could actually get extradited. All right, and taken back to their country of origin because they're country of origin you know contacts mexico in order to bring them back okay and look let me tell you straight up okay this is how it works okay because that and i was by the way i was one of those people that came out here to mexico because i had a situation in texas again some of you guys know some of you guys don't but again i was uh accused of a petty crime that gave me a felony and uh in in between all the time that uh that i had to wait and and pay and uh, go through the process in order to clean my name and to become you know again uh, be able to get um uh, expunged you know from my record and all this other shit um in between all that time i was uh you know a, a degraded citizen you know i was uh, put in a position where um dog the bounty hunter was chasing me around the u.s in a in a sense you know um to, to keep me uh in check so that if i don't you know call my my fucking bonds lady if i don't fucking pay my money if i don't do this if i don't do that they were gonna fucking send uh you know dog the bounty hunter you know after me to come get me you know literally okay and so you know um that's why i one of the main reasons i came out to mexico because i knew that they could not extradite me that i could not be bothered out here that i had all my rights out here that i was going to be fine and dandy that in fact in fact i'll bring up the whatever um uh, the, the reason i know this i mean i did a lot of research but you know they showed dog the bounty hunter i don't know if anyone knows or remembers that show but one episode dog the bounty hunter chased somebody into mexico and when you know what happened when he came to mexico and arrested the guy dog the bounty hunter got arrested for kidnapping and they took him and they and they fucking deported his ass and then the guy that he arrested was let go okay so just to keep that in mind so that was a main fucking reason why i came out here and why a lot of people want to come out to a country like like mexico because in the u.s you know again you know what i mean anything you do basically anything you do you fart too loud and that's enough to probably put you in prison for a very long time and give you a felony and all these horrible things and um, a lot of people are scared to come out to a place like this and then all of a sudden while they're out here you know they're scared that something could happen where they could get you know like uh, arrested or get like um you know again deported you know what i mean or taken back and extradited and that's not going to happen it's not going to happen at all in fact the only way that something like that is actually going to happen is if you do like some really 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 horrible crime 
Again, let me emphasize on the really, 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 really horribleness of said crime. So if you commit murder, if you commit, you know, um, things like, you know, pedophilia, if you do anything that's really, really fucking horrible, all right, yeah, yeah, most likely, not only are they gonna allow your country, whether it's the US or whatever country you're from, for them to come out here and get you, but Mexico is also gonna be kicking your ass out of here, all right? So, and again, not that, not that you got accused of a crime like that and then your name has been expunged and then you can come out here. No, 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 no. I mean that you're literally uh, on the run because of said crimes and you're really like a really, really, really bad actor. Um, then yeah, man, you know what I mean? You're, you know, you can hide out here and you can hide in other parts of the world, but eventually not only will they find you, um, but they have every right to fucking extradite you, okay? And every country has different extradition laws. But when it comes to living out here in Mexico, uh-uh, uh-uh, you know what I mean? Like, again, you know, they cannot extradite you. They cannot kick you out. They cannot, you know, do a lot of fucking things. Even if you're out here and, you, and you're on an expired visa, again, if you know the right lawyers, if you know the right information, if you know um, the Constitution of Mexico and all these other things, man, they can't kick you out either, all right? So, but again, you know, as a good citizen of the world out there, a good citizen, um, you are, just like me and all of us, you know, we're trying to remain... Uh, um, as legal as possible. We're, we're trying to, you know, we're not trying to do anything illegal or anything like that, you know? So most people out there are, you know, making sure they got their visa um, on point. They're not doing anything illegal. If they do mess up, you know, they're trying to fix that as soon as possible and all these other things. So as long as you're like in that camp, all right, and you're one of those individuals out there that, you know, um, is, is doing the right thing and trying to do the right thing, you have absolutely nothing to worry about, okay? So... You know, like I said, you know, in my case in particular, I, and I was living in the United States of America, um, and uh, and when part of my my living there, I was traveling through the the country, and I traveled, I traveled through Texas, and when I was driving through Texas, I literally got illegally pulled over, which doesn't happen here, but again, if it does, it's very different. Um, but anyways, I got illegally pulled over, I got Ill illegally searched, and I got illegally, you know, put in a very, very bad situation and illegally put in prison, okay? And after all those illegal activities were done to me, all right, at that point, okay, I was able to finally, um, you know, once I was able to present them with my American Express card and I was able to post bond and leave, um, after that point, then I had the right to, to fucking buy my freedom back and thank god that i had the resources to buy it back but again you know it's not like that at all you know what i mean here you know what i mean it's very very different out here even for crimes you know out here you know again the reason you might see so many bars on some uh, the doors and you see so much people uh so many people actually taking care of their own uh stuff um and not relying on the cops is because again the cops have no power here you know not just to enforce um but no power period you know what i mean in comparison to what they have it in the u.s where they can just enforce anything and again put you in jail for 10 years for farting the wrong way all right um and so or not putting on your mask or whatever the fuck all right um but out here you know things are very different in the sense that like uh you know again someone breaks into your home and you call the cops and the cops come and take that guy away you know that guy is probably on the street the next day and there's no recourse so you know that's probably why you you know if you catch that guy you're probably gonna have to kick his ass and teach the guy a lesson um so that he doesn't break into your fucking home again okay so you know with that said you know with that being such you know uh a type of uh, world out here in which everything is very anarchistic and things are very um you know uh you gotta you know what is it like you gotta like um you gotta take care of your own situation you know again you're not you're not expecting a government entity to fucking do anything for you you got to do it yourself so again with that being said it goes for everything it goes for everything all right so again out here the law has no legal authority to extradite you unless you know again you got the cia the fbi the irs um, homeland security, you know, you got all, if you got all that fucking people after you, then yeah, you're kind of fucked, all right? If you got, you know, again, you know, uh, any, any kind of uh, entity like that chasing you, you're, you're, you're fucked. But again, if you're leaving whatever country you're leaving, and you're leaving because again, you know, you're, you're probably gonna be put in prison for 15 years for, I don't know, not paying child support, or being put in prison for 15 years, you know, for, I don't know, not paying a fucking, uh, uh, a traffic citation. 
okay being you know being put in prison for 15 to 25 years you know again you know for voicing your opinion and things like that again you know you're not gonna get extradited and they have absolutely zero zero authority and zero right and zero anything to to do anything like that and on top of that they're gonna be protecting you okay again let me remind you that again the dog the bounty hunter okay dog the bounty hunter came into Mexico okay in order to um, extradite an American that was running away from God knows what and when uh, dog the bounty hunter actually got the guy guess what happened guess what happened the guy um, the dog the bounty hunter was again like I repeat he was the one that got arrested for kidnapping and then he got fucking deported you can look it up I'm not gonna put that video on the, today's video because I'm gonna get demonetized and in trouble and all that other stuff you know I leave that for my other channel um, but you know the reason I'm bringing this up you know this is actually something I would also be talking about on my regular channel you know let me segue into that by the way I have uh, my regular channel you know what I mean which is you know Jose Atiaga um, you know the channel <laughs> whatever and then you can just go check that out all right where I talk about you know not just this but I talk about you know all the craziness that's happening in the world you know I might give you my actual thoughts on what's really really happening what's going on out here um, in the world um, so check out my regular channel you're watching this on the travel channel but this is something that I would be putting on my regular channel I also got my cooking channel and I got a podcast all right in which I talk about all kinds of things so um, I would highly encourage you guys to check out my website you know just joseadiaga.com so you can see everything all right everything is there anyways all right let's get back to the show but yeah guys you know if you're if you're right now living in fear in your country for whatever the reason it is you know whether it's uh you know not wearing your face mask or voicing your opinion or you know parking in the wrong parking spot or not paying your bill or whatever the whatever it is whatever it is whatever is going on you don't have to be living in fear that if you come out here that you're going to be extradited again like i said outside of anything you know crazy outside of anything <laughs> outside of anything like that nothing's gonna happen guys so you got nothing to worry about um, and in fact you know again you know why I'm, I'm choosing to make this video topic and today you know and you know again today is because I just finished a meeting um, you know I'm out here in Paseo Montejo you know it's already fr it's Friday afternoon things are getting like, super back to normal and things are already you know as you guys can see the traffic is back and again not full capacity but we're, we're getting there um, we're seeing tons and tons of people out tons of vendors tons of everything and um, the reason I'm really making this is because I know for a fact okay that if I would when I made you know if this video was uh, let's say two or three years old I'm only speaking to a small group of people but in today's world unfortunately almost everybody's a lawbreaker in one shape form or, or another doesn't matter what side of the political spectrum you're on doesn't matter what you believe doesn't matter any of these things okay basically you already know they're trying to control everything they're doing a great job at it and most people that are looking to move out here from wherever you're watching this from you are most likely dealing with some sort of situation that is uh you know again making you look for this video because you know there's going to be so many law breaking you know citizens all over the world um again all of a sudden um that you're going to be breaking all kinds of laws that were not laws not too long ago um and it's all part of that you know what i mean in order to scare you to stay at your property you know what i mean to stay i mean sorry in order to scare you to stay in your land or in order to give you enough charges or enough of a of a bad rap that you're not able to leave your own country and then again if you are all of a sudden a criminal you know you might start thinking oh my god i can't travel outside of my country they won't accept me i can't go to mexico they're gonna fucking extradite me they're gonna deport me at the border they're gonna do no they're not gonna do any of that shit okay they're not gonna do any of that all right there's no you know there's no i mean again if you're leaving your country and you got like a like um a lot of crimes you know against you know that country for whatever the crimes could be the crimes could simply be you know something like you know the crimes could simply be again you know not paying your taxes not wearing your mask not whatever the fuck it is you're doing you know but that's already enough you know for them to um stick you with a very 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 high crime and um also make you believe and think that you're not 
going to be able to go anywhere or, or you know outside of uh you know your home country um you know what let's go this way might as well take you a little bit of a different route through this area here um but yeah guys you know what i mean so it's like a big major concern for a lot of people a lot of people are very scared you know um you know um about leaving their country because of all these uh you know crimes that they've committed or that will be committed um due to all of the insanity that's happening right around the world right now and people are very afraid that you know they can come out here and um that you know that all of a sudden if you come out here because again you're running away from whatever you're running away from and a lot of people are like well if i come to this country i gotta really really hide and i gotta like um you know hide my tracks and be off the grid and i can't let them know where i am and shit like that and again it's like the reality is is that that could not be any further from the truth because again the reality is is that since you cannot get extradited or in any kind of trouble okay for being in this country okay only running away from some petty bullshit, then then what's the, what's the issue What's the problem? You get what I'm saying? They're not going to be able to do anything at all. So, and so that's the thing, you know what I mean? It's like, you got to remember that, you know what I mean? You have to, you know, sorry, I'm just trying to like not to get run over those people. Anyway, sorry. See, so like these videos are not that easy to make, you know, sometimes because there's so much stuff going on all, all around me, all right? Um, but anyway, sorry, <laughs> got a little distracted there. But. Yeah, you know, again, this is a very, very important uh, issue for a lot of people because a lot of people don't want to pick up um, and move to another country only to come out here, um, you know, rebuild, um, or re, re, uh, reroute, you know, is it re, uh, put their roots here, you know, put, you know, re, you know, what is it, change their whole life, come and live in another country, uproot okay and come and reroot over here and so on and so forth a lot of people don't want to do any of those things because they're scared they're going to come out here invest all that time all that money all that everything and then before you know it and then before you know it you know what i mean like um they got some government official knocking on their door saying hey you got to go back to sweden hey you got to go back to the usa hey you got to go back to canada or or whatever and it's like you know for what oh because you didn't pay this oh because you didn't do that oh because so and so is suing you so and so is doing this so you know it's a major concern for a lot of people out there trust me all right and um and, and i understand it i get it it was a concern for me um but that, again it was a concern for me living in the u.s but the minute the minute that i crossed into mexico look even the churches are open finally how beautiful huh but even though um you know what I mean? Even though that was a concern for me at first, you know, immediately when I did a little bit of that research, I was like, oh, wait a minute. I'm actually running away. I'm actually in, in prison right now in the U.S., running away from my captors on a constant basis. And all I really got to do in order to be free is just move across the border, move to Mexico, and they'll leave me the fuck alone, finally. And once they leave me the fuck alone, I can take care of whatever legal situation I need to take care of. And then I can maybe eventually come back to the U.S. at some point. And that's what I did. When I was in the U.S., it was almost impossible for me to take care of what I needed to take care of. They made it so difficult, so hard, always threatening me with putting me in jail and, and just the worst, the worst. The minute that they found out I was out here, everything changed. Everything changed because they were like, fuck, we can't get him now. And fuck that he's still, you know, he's still, we're still trying to get money out of him. Fuck, what are we going to do? And so what did they do? Man, did they change this? I think they changed this whole thing here. They definitely changed this whole area here. I haven't been here in a while. I, I used to live around here. All right, let's check it out. Yeah, they changed it. Oh, wow, interesting. But anyways, but yeah, so like I was saying, you know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, you know, um, all, all these things that are happening... I forgot what the hell was I saying? I forgot. Oh yeah, yeah. Like um, when they saw and they figured out that I was out of the country and I didn't give a fuck about coming back at any point because I was scared that they were gonna put me in fucking prison over some bullshit. And at the end of the day, they didn't even give a fuck about me. All they cared about is my motherfucking money. Sorry about all the f words. Okay, that obviously is a touchy subject for me. Um, but. You know, once they figured that out, well, guess what? They were all of a sudden, they became my best friends because I told them, listen, if now you don't comply with my fucking demands, then I'm not going to pay you anything. And I don't want to come back anyway. So go fuck yourself. All right. Um, but the minute that I decided, 
you know, to, like, well, you know, but you know, but after I said that, and uh, that decision was already made, and I told them exactly, you know, where they can stick it. All of a sudden, they became my friend because they knew, well, fuck it, he's not coming back. There's nothing we can do. What can you know? What what can we do in order to get the money and rectify this? Well, now we got to play nice. We got to, you know, make sure to give him exactly what he, what he wants, which is his freedom back. The little pieces of paper that said that I am not guilty of all the bullshit that they were fucking trying to put on me. And then guess what? All of a sudden, everything got fixed. Everything got taken away from me. You know, I got exolved. I got my rights back. You know, they were taking my money, no problem. They were all nice. Hello, Mr. Jose. Thank you again. Thank you very much, Mr. Jose. Yada, yada, yada. All right, money talks, right? Let me see. Yeah, it's already getting pretty dark. It's nighttime. I got to end this episode. I got to get home. The wifey is waiting for me. Anyways, I'm out here fucking partying and having fun, huh? Anyways. But yeah, you know what I mean? Basically, look, a lot of the Christmas stuff is already starting to go up. Definitely no lockdowns out here. Fuck yeah. Anyway, so, exactly. I mean, another reason why I came out here. You know, while a lot of you guys are still, you know, um, wondering whether you're um, gonna be able to spend Christmas with your family or not, only because your government is saying we're gonna lock you down or not, I'm out here, you know, we're already getting ready for the fucking Christmas holidays. You know, we already got a lot of, all the lights up you know we already got everything going you know and again you see me walking around this whole area you know not wearing anything not getting harassed at all all right because again there's nothing to harass i dare them you know pew. <laughs> anyways all right guys that's it i really gotta get going I, I i really have to go all right it's time for me to get home so i think i'm gonna stay here i'm gonna finish it here because i'm gonna get my taxi here so you already know the deal guys let me see I think, uh, here, like that, here, all right, right, so I can do the ending, let me see, can you see me there, all right, you can kind of see me there, all right, guys, thanks again for watching, if you like this kind of content, you already know what to do, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon, but more importantly than anything else, please stay awesome, thanks again for watching, please check out the website, please check out all the links below, and all the links at the end of the video, and again, guys, I love you to death, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and, uh, I'll see you guys on the next one, bye!